Today we are going to start the chapter for uh, directing. This is the fourth function of management that we have discussed so far. All the functions of management starting with planning, organizing, staffing, then comes directing. After your plans have been formulated, right, the organizational structures have been developed, appropriate people have been recruited and selected to perform the designated task, right. Now all this was just the thinking function, clear. With directing comes the execution of the first three steps of management comes to the forefront. No matter how well I have formulated my plans, no matter how good the organizational structures have been planned, no matter how highly qualified people have you recruited. But till the time the function of directing is not performed well, the first three functions of management will go in vain. Aapne jitne bhi achhi planning ki ho, jitne bhi achhe log recruit kiye ho, jab tak the function of directing has not been performed properly, the first three steps or the first three functions of management will not be successful. I mean the entire plan is going to go for a six, right? Now what exactly is the meaning of the word directing? As the definition says, directing is telling people what to do and seeing that they do it to the best of their ability. Right? In precisely we can say that directing puts life into all three functions of management that is your planning, organizing and stuffing. Directing is basically giving instructions to the people, giving instructions to people as to how the job is to be done. Right? It is how the job is to be done. There are different uh, uh, elements of directing which are used. That is your motivation. You motivate the employees to, pro, uh, to perform to their best of abilities and capabilities so that organizational goals are achieved effectively and efficiently. So directing basically means to give direction. Aapne plan kar liya that what are, what, are, what are my objectives, what are the broad organizational objectives and depending upon the broad organizational objectives, what are going to be the sub objectives for each and every department. This is your plan, right? You've developed organizational structure that whether we are going to be following functional structure or a divisional structure, what are the superior subordinate relationships, what hierarchies to be followed, all this you've worked out, right? Then after you have identified the number of the job positions which are there in your organization for which you need to recruit people, you've performed the function of staffing. So now you have your plans, you have your organization structure right in place and you have the right person appropriate for the job, clear? Now we have to put all these three functions together by the means of directing by the means of directing, right? It is basically now we'll have to, the people that we've recruited, now we have to tell them what are they supposed to do, right? And at the same time, at the same time, guiding them, supporting them in order to ensure that whatever they are doing, they do in the best possible manner to the best of their abilities and capabilities, right? So the first three functions have been performed very well in order to ensure, in order to ensure that these three functions that we've already performed, they don't go waste. We have to ensure that the fourth function and the most important function that is of directing has to be performed in the best possible manner, right? With this coming to the features of directing, what are the various features, characteristics of directing? Number one, Directing is action oriented. Again, I am repeating the point that planning, organizing and staffing, they were all thinking function. They were all thinking function. We have planned it just on paper. We have planned it on paper. But it is directing which initiates action. It is directing which initiates action. It is with the help of direction, uh, it is with the help of directing that plans are put into action. It is with the help of directing that these authority responsibility relationships, they gain some meaning, right? Secondly, it is all pervasive. Wherever there is a superior subordinate relationship, directing mein kya hai? Superior is going to instruct his subordinate that what work is to be done and how is he supposed to be doing it and will continuously guide him and motivate him so that he performs to the best of his abilities, 
right now wherever there are superior subordinate relationship be it at the higher level of management middle level of management or operational level of management right wherever there is a superior subordinate relationship there is a need for directing so therefore directing is all pervasive it is present at all levels of management third point it is a continuous process it is not a one time action it is not a one time action like we say planning is continuous we keep on making plans then if there are changes in the business environment we keep on amending our plans right what are we doing in direction we are putting these plans into action directing is not a one time job wherein you give directions you motivate once that task is accomplished we stop there no right because management is a ongoing process fine so once your subordinate has achieved a a particular task right then comes the next ta next next task uh, task your way for which further you will have to guide him motivate him influence him right so that he performs to the best of his ability so directing is a continuous process it continues throughout the life of an organization then it counsels and guides people okay directing is not only about giving instructions that you are supposed to do a b c d no right many a times you have to sit with your superior uh, subordinate you might have to sit with your subordinate you know actually make him actually show him how a particular task is to be done right you have to keep guiding him continuously you have to keep kai bar ungli pakad ke chalwana padta hai jab wo chalna sikh jaye tab hum chhod dete hain this is directing right you are guiding that subordinate so that he is able to accomplish the predefined or predetermined objectives right last is it flows from top to bottom it flows from the top level of management in the form of the broad organizational objectives the rules and regulations that are to be followed in the organization right then from the top level management it conveys to the middle level management middle level management is further going to simplify these broad organizational objectives into departmental objectives right from the middle level management it comes to the supervisory level of management and from the supervisory level of management it goes to the final workers so in all we have done five features of directing that is number 1 that it is directing which initiates action number 2 it is all pervasive meaning it is present at all levels of organization number 3 it is a continuous process it's not a one time act right it is it is going to continue or carry on throughout the life of an organization then it counsels and guide people so that they perform to the best of their abilities and last but not the least it flows from top to bottom i hope the meaning of directing and the characteristics of directing are pretty clear to you all now we move on to importance of directing that why is this particular function of directing so important number 1 from the features only we will say that it is directing which initiates action it says action starts with directing theek hai usse pehle to sirf script writing chal rahi thi राइट right. उससे पहले सिर्फ स्क्रिप्ट राइटिंग चल रही थी हमने प्लान्स बनाए ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर्स डेवलप किए हाइराकी जो फॉलो होनी है वो डेवलप की लोग रिक्रूट किए ठीक है दिस इज ऑल स्क्रिप्टिंग दिस इज ऑल ऑन पेपर हमने सिर्फ सारी सेटिंग रेडी कर दी है ओके नाउ द मेन एक्शन इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ डायरेक्टिंग वेर इन आपने सबको डेजिग्नेट कर दिया दैट यू आर द सेल्स मैनेजर यू आर द प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर यू आर द फाइनेंस मैनेजर यू आर द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजर एवरी वन हैज गॉट देर रिस्पेक्टिव पोजिशन clear now how when they they begin to perform only with the function of directing only when when they get the direction right when they are given when they start they start to perform with the function of directing it is directing which initiates action clear second is directing leads to integrated group activity directing leads to integrated group activity it means the individual efforts of all employees are integrated such that it becomes a group and powerful effort to achieve the goals of the organization now what does this mean 
आई एम रीडिंग इट फ्रॉम द बुक वॉट डज दिस मीन इसका मतलब देखो हमने पहले प्लानिंग में वी डिफाइन द ब्रॉड ऑब्जेक्टिव ब्रॉड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल ऑब्जेक्टिव राइट फ्रॉम दोज ब्रॉड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल ऑब्जेक्टिव राइट वी मेक आवर डिपार्टमेंटल ऑब्जेक्टिव प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट के अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट के अपने ऑब्जेक्टिव राइट मार्केटिंग के अपने एचआर के अपने फाइनेंस के अपने राइट दीज आर योर इंडिविजुअल डिपार्टमेंटल ऑब्जेक्टिव फाइन नाउ ईच ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट इज गोइंग टू परसू their own departmental objectives theek okay? hai they are working towards the accomplishment of their own departmental objectives but all in all although each one of the departments is working towards the accomplishment of their individual objectives but achievement of these departmental objectives taken together we are moving towards the accomplishment of the organizational goals we are moving towards the accomplishment of the organizational goals clear all this is possible only with directing it is direct it is it is this function of directing right which okay. which converts your plans into actions which converts your plans into action plans are converted into sub plans and sub plans into action right and wherein achievement of each individual objective in one way or the other is leading to achievement of the organizational objectives clear then directing aims at getting the best out of all employees many a times as students you know you would hear your teacher say you would hear your teacher tell you that you are get you are you are capable of getting better marks than this you are capable of getting better marks than this now how i am also a teacher right we know that what is the potential of each and every student who's there in your class क्लियर अगर वो अपने आप से 66 परसेंट ला रहा है तो मुझे लगता है अगर उसको मैं थोड़ा सा और मोटिवेट करूं थोड़ा सा और गाइड करूं ठीक है थोड़ा सा और उसको टाइम देके उसके साथ बैठूं उसको ट्रेनिंग दूं तो फ्रॉम अबाउट 66 परसेंट ही कैन कम अप टू 75 परसेंट दैट इज वॉट ही इज केपेबल ऑफ क्लियर सो सिमिलरली विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फंक्शन ऑफ डायरेक्टिंग यू नो वी यूज डिफरेंट टूल्स वी यूज डिफरेंट methods we use different elements of directing that is your supervision motivation leadership and communication by using a mixture of these elements we can make sure that each one of the employees works to the best of his abilities and capabilities har ek employee ka ek potential hota hai and it becomes it is very essential for each and every organization to exploit that potential to recognize the potential a and b to exploit that potential you have to continuously work with your employees to make sure to make sure that they perform to the best of their abilities next directing facilitates changes it's a human psychology it's a human nature whenever there is a change there will always be first resistance to change we all resist changes why because we are so settled with the present set of uh, with the present uh, framework you know whenever there is a change the employees of any organization they resist change right to yahan pe jo aapka superior hai what is the job of a superior he is going to make the employee comfortable first he is going to make the employee comfortable first ठीक है लेटर से कि अगर एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जहां पे कि पहले सारे लेबर इंटेंसिव मेथड्स यूज किए जाते हैं यू अंडरस्टैंड लेबर इंटेंसिव वेर इन मोर नंबर ऑफ पीपल आर यूज्ड एंड लेस ऑफ मशीनरीज यूज्ड सडनली सडनली फ्रॉम लेबर इंटेंसिव मेथड्स वी आर मूविंग टू कैपिटल इंटेंसिव टेक्निक्स अब इंप्लॉइज को एकदम से डर लग जाएगा कि अगर कैपिटल इंटेंसिव टेक्निक्स आ गई तो मोस्ट ऑफ आस आर गोइंग टू बी लेड ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ आस आर गोइंग टू बी लेड ऑफ राइट और मे बी कंपनी इंप्लॉयज न्यू पीपल हु हैव अ नॉलेज ऑफ दैट टेक्निक what what will what will happen with us because hame to kuch aata nahi hai uske upar kaam karna so it is the job of the superior to first comfort the employees right and explain it to them that how this change is going to contribute to their growth and development tell them that before introducing this technology you all are going to be trained as to how this technology is to be used and handled and give them an assurance that this no way means that you all are going to be laid off it doesn't mean that you all are going to be laid off it may mean that we are going to expand our scale of production so with the same number of employees we are going to have more number of machines we are going to have more number of 
machines. So, basically the superior with the function of with by performing the function of directing by performing the function of directing he makes the he 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 make he makes sure that everyone accepts the change in a very positive manner everyone takes change in a very very positive manner so he, he tries and create an environment wherein change is always a welcome next directing ensures stability and balance within the organization Directing instills the spirit of cooperation and commitment amongst the workforce, right? It's basically the individual workers and the organization, they have their own objectives, right? And most of the times, their objectives, they are at cross purposes. Individuals, they want higher salaries, right? But the organization wants minimum possible cost. Now, it is next to impossible that both the objectives are achieved at the same time that is not possible but yes some kind of reconciliation definitely can be done some kind of reconciliation definitely can be done kuch points pe organization ko compromise karna padta hai kuch point pe individual worker ko but they do reconcile and this function of reconciliation is will be performed with the help of the function of directing i hope with this importance as to why or what role does a function of direction play okay we repeat it action starts with directing right directing leads to integrated group activity directing aims at getting the best result best out of all the employees and directing facilitates changes and last directing ensures stability and balance within the organization